Jess is a border collie. She's eight and a half months old and going for a walk has become a nightmare for her owner, Anita. Jess is obsessed with chasing cars, bikes and even joggers. Dogs that chase can be a very serious problem and has the potential to be extremely dangerous. I really don't like taking her out on a busy road, it's, it's that bad. She's, she's pulling as soon as you get her out the gate. If a car comes from behind, she starts spinning, um, she round and round. It, it's, I can't let, my, my kids are teenagers, I can't let them take her for a walk because the, she might pull them into the road. You know, it's, it's, it is a really serious problem. It took Anita 22 years to persuade her husband to get a dog. Now that they've got one, her husband is regretting his decision. He says if Jess can't be trained properly, she'll have to go. If Jane can sort Jess out, I would be the happiest person in the world because, um, you know, just the thought of getting rid of Jess. I just, you know, I just want to be able to walk out properly, so... Oh, God. I, 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 I would just like Jess to, you know, I would just like to be able to walk Jess. Um, you know, because I want her to have a nice life. Well, dog behaviour expert Jane Hanshaw can't promise miracles, but if Anita is prepared to work hard, Jane's confident she can get this car chasing under control. Hi, how are you? I'm all right, thanks, how are you? I'm not bad, thank you. Hello, Jess. How are you? Oh, right. Am I all right sitting here? Uh-huh, good. Thank you. Oh, looking at her there, I would say that she's more of a working sheepdog. Right. Rather than a border collie as such. She's a border collie, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but she's the working strain. So you've got the supercharged version. She's hardwired to chase. Mm -hmm. That's what shepherds use. They need them to herd the sheep. So in her part of her makeup is to chase. So she's doing what comes naturally to her. Mm -hmm. So in the absence of sheep, she's choosing cars. Jane has taken Jess away from busy roads and other distractions to teach a basic command, leave it. If Jess masters this, the plan is she'll eventually learn to leave cars, bikes and other things she chases. So basically you put the really tasty treat in the palm of your hand. As the dog's nose goes for it, just close your fist like that. You're not shouting, you're asking her to leave it. When she goes, oh, good girl, take it. And then you give it to her with a take it. Teach it on food initially, and then once she knows it well, what I'd like to do is go, leave that car, leave that jogger, leave that bike. A head collar can be a really useful tool for controlling a dog that lunges, because basically it can't get the power from its shoulders into that lunge. You've got control of the head. What's really important, though, with a head collar is that you spend some time getting your dog to accept it. Even if that only means putting it on for a few seconds and rewarding that acceptance, don't rush it. Spend the time and then that will help you later on in the training. Jane's already spent some time with Jess, ensuring she's comfortable wearing the head collar in the house before moving to an outside environment. You walk with me. Come on then, Jess. So what we're looking for, oh, good girl, super. It's some really nice, relaxed walking. Oh, that's much better. And I'd like to turn that way so that we've always sort of got the dog on the inside. Good girl! Oh, lovely! Super. So lots of praise when she gets it right. We're not going to tell her off. What I'm looking to do is I want to be really relaxed. I want you to be relaxed and I want her to be relaxed. I'm not looking for a tight lead. Um, the point of it is if this head collar's on, she can't get the power behind that lunging that she's yeah. doing. So, but we have to get her to accept that first, which is what we're doing now. Jess seems to have accepted the idea of wearing a head collar, but how will she cope with passing traffic? Jess hardly reacts as two cars pass by. Good girl. So if she looks behind, that's when we're going to use that leave it again. We're not telling her off, don't be cross. She's already bothered by the environment, you know, really. So... Good girl! What a good girl! Oh, that is so nice! Oh, you're so clever! What a good girl! That's so good! With just a couple of hours training, Jess has gone from this... ..to this. 
Just imagine what Anita could achieve in a couple of weeks if she sticks at it. I know you were a little bit upset earlier on. You thought you might have to give her up if you couldn't cope. Yeah. Do you feel better equipped now? 100% better. I just can't believe the difference. From You saw what she was like this morning. It's, yeah. like, unbelievable. So what's important is that you do lots and lots and lots of really small sessions. Um, five or ten minutes, four or five times a day is much better than a sort of hour slot at the end of the day. So do you feel you won't have to give her up now, that you can keep her? I do, yeah. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel now. The difference today, it's, I just feel so... I can, I can see... You know, she can, she can yeah. do it. She can do it 